once you've fin completed your examination and you've zeroed in on a part of the horse that you're concerned about, you have diagnostic aids, uh, radiograph, ultrasound, uh, CAT scan, MRI, uh, carbocaine. See, the horse can't say, I'm sore here. But he's not bright enough to know that when you anesthetize the area, it doesn't hurt anymore. So you have a choice. You can either put carbocaine in the coffin joint and give him 10 minutes and trot him off. And if he's sound, then you know it's the coffin joint. Or you can block the digital, digital nerves low, and that anesthetizes the back quarters of his feet. And when he's, if he's sound, he, trot, you know, he trots off sound. So you define where in the foot the problem might be. Secondly, I would look at radiographs. And radiographs, you remember, only show you bone. And they don't show cartilage. So you look at the bone, and you're looking for fractures. You're looking for bruising. You're looking for arthritic changes. Or you're looking for calcium that has developed. Next one would be ultrasound. That's more for soft tissue. So suspensories and tendons and muscle and this sort of thing. So you ultrasound a tendon, you can see the lesion in the tendon. You ultrasound the suspensory, you can see the lesion in the suspensory. Um, you can even see small fractures on ultrasound because, you, because bone will break off and you can see it. Um, or muscle, you can see the lesion. So ultrasound is for soft tissue radiographs are for bone. Uh, MRIs and CAT scans, they'll give you both. Much more expensive, but if you have a given problem, then you, know, you have to go to that. Uh, those are the main ones that we would use, is uh, the carbocaine, the radiographs, the ultrasounds. And then if you have to, you go to CAT scans or MRIs. Um, and sometimes, you actually get into what might be called diagnostic surgery, in which case you look in with arthroscope to the joint and actually see, and some of, the, some of the times that's the only way you can see some of these cartilage lesions, is you look in the joint. Or certain tears in the ankle, in the, in the bone avulsions, you can only see if you are with arthroscope. The challenge is with diagnosing lame horses that I find are horses that are lame in more than one area. And when you get into racehorses, you find this. Not so much in uh, lower end performance horses, but when you get into high end performance horses, I mean, for instance, horses with bad feet tend to get bad hocks or bad stifles because they've shifted their weight and they're taking more weight behind or horses with sore knees tend to get sore hocks or sore stifles because they've shifted their weight. There are orthopedic lamenesses or, or lamenesses involve injury, but there are also lamenesses that just are with what you do, okay? So a horse can get sore hocks and be lame on them and have no radiographic changes or no ultrasound changes. They're just sore. <laughs> a rider that tells you up until a week ago, this horse felt great, but now it just doesn't feel right. That's a challenge. <laughs>